Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Nexus ROM for your Galaxy S4. So, to start off, I'm going to tell you the main idea behind the Super Nexus ROM. And basically, it's trying to give you the vanilla Android experience that you would get on a device like the Google Nexus 4. So, this is entirely built from AOSP's source. And he has included a lot of improvements and optimizations to give you a faster ROM than you would get on a stock experience. This ROM is also completely debloated, so you're not getting any third-party apps in the box of installing the ROM. So when installing the ROM, all you're going to do is flash the ROM in the gaps. And this ROM does support the AT&T, T-Mobile, and the international models of the Galaxy S4. I'll have all the links down below. Hopefully he will spread the love of this great ROM to some devices like the Verizon and Sprint S4 in the near future. So not only is this just completely stock Android, as I said, he does give you some more optimizations than you would get. So this is Android 4.3. And if we keep clicking, it finally shows that we are running the latest version of Android. And we also do get the latest version of this ROM, which is build number one. So, as I said, since this is based off of stock Android and Google source, you're not getting any extra features. This is not a Google, a Google ROM that you would install as in the Google edition S4s. This is based off of Nexus 4's stock Android. So... It is going to be really fast, and he has included a lot of great improvements to make even just scrolling faster. So he did improve scrolling cache, which is, if you noticed, actually makes a big difference. When I'm scrolling through, everything goes really quickly, and I also do have a live wallpaper on right now. So that shows a lot right away from this ROM. He also did tweak animation values of the progress spinners, so it should load stuff a little bit quicker and the spinners that you see the little circles when loading should also be quicker and smoother so another thing that he did do is he did increase the lock screen widgets from five to nine so if you're someone who adds a lot of widgets to your lock screen you'll be able to add all of them now if you really want to I personally don't even use that feature that much but someone else who really likes lock mm. screen widgets this would be a great thing for you. So another th thing that this ROM does have over stock Android is he did add noise suppression to the phone features. So when you're in your phone and you're talking to someone on the phone, it should sound a little bit better when listening to the quality of someone else talking to you. And I actually did notice an improvement. It was a little bit more clean and smooth and didn't sound as crackly anymore. So, otherwise than that, you're not getting any extra features, as I said. You do get Super SU, and you also do get Apollo Music Player from Cyanogen Mod, and there are no extra features. So, as you can see, everything is really stock Android, as I said before. The one thing that you also do get from CM is this does come with the Cyanogen Mod kernel installed, which is obviously a quick kernel, and you could always install a different one if you want uh, to quickly show you how fast it is we could pop through stuff like the internet and let's just search something random here and just to show you how fast it searches a lot quicker actually than what I got when I was just using the Galaxy S4 on TouchWiz definitely no lag with this ROM one of the fastest ROMs that I have used in a while battery life has also been great uh, I would show you but I just charged it I could usually get a full day with this battery, and I didn't get that on TouchWiz because it was so stuffed with features. So last but not least, I just want to remind you guys that if you're someone who's looking for just the stock Android, something that will give you fast and great battery life performance, but you don't want all those extra features that you would get on TouchWiz and even something like CyanogenMod that kind of slows your phone down, then this is definitely a ROM for you. I reviewed it for the S3, and now I'm reviewing it for the S4, and it has just gotten better. 
and hopefully this developer will keep updating it and we'll just keep getting better ROMs. So guys, uh, this was a quick review of the Super Nexus ROM, a stunning Nexus experience as it says in this XDA thread. Please hit the like button down below and please do subscribe for more ROM reviews and tech reviews. I am getting the Moto X soon, so we will be reviewing that, and I will also be rooting that. And a lot of exciting stuff happening, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, as I said. And yeah, thanks for watching.